come and go, so your makeup bag needs to evolve, well, at least a little bit. That's why we turn the spotlight on one product each month based on the expert opinion of our longtime beauty contributor, Holly Stone. She keeps her eye on what's coming across the makeup counter. She does a lot of personal testing, and Holly joins me via Skype today. Holly, why is now a good time to open up the makeup bag and see what's in there? It's just time for a refresher. It's time to know what's in and what's out. So should we get started? Get started. Smoky eyes out, right? Smoky eyes out. The new trend is a cut crease, just a more dramatic line, less smudge. So cut crease replaces the smoky eye. Next up, we have parts and bangs. Bangs are totally in, but the side part is really deep and dramatic. So it's a really great way to style your hair a new way. Next up are brows. Brows, sculpted brows, the ones that we used to see with stencils, totally out. Now it's an unstructured brow, which means now your brows take center stage. Use what you have naturally. Next up, we have braids. Braids have been a historical trend. We're not seeing them nearly as loose. Braids are in, but they are tight and very, again, dramatic. And finally, we have the biggest trend that's going out, and that is contouring. Contouring out. I love this because contouring was more negative. We were trying to hide the things we didn't like. The thing that's replaced it is strobing, which is a highlighting technique, which helps you bring forward the features that you love. The product that I would recommend and have found that I love for this is Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Pressed Powder. It's got a luminosity to it, a true glow to the skin not super shiny for those of us who are aging, doesn't highlight fine lines and wrinkles, just cast that perfect dewy luminous look and features the things you want to focus on. Holly, such great tips. Did any of them surprise you at all? Any of these trends take you by surprise? The contouring did. I thought contouring was here to stay, but now that we're focusing more on the positive and bringing forward those light and those reflective moments, I actually think it's a great trend for the beauty industry. And I've seen some of that strobing done as I've seen pictures, even here on the show, and it does really give that illuminescence, light, airy, kind of makes you feel good look. It really does. You know, we're not shiny, we're not sparkly. It's really just got this light, reflective manner to it. And I just use kind of one of these fan brushes and I just dusted it over my brows on the highlights of my cheeks my chin and my nose cast a beautiful glow doesn't make me look shiny but it really puts your best features forward okay